All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is June 8, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so I want to show you the title to this article, and it says here, River turns blood red after second largest oil spill in Arctic Circle. Russia orders state of emergency. Now, once again, guys, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, events in the year 2020. Uh, Russia orders state of emergency due to the oil spill. Uh, river turns blood red. We are seeing a lot of events, not only within our country, but also in the other side of the world, uh, where many nations are witnessing food shortage, massive locusts. Uh, oil and uh, a whole bunch of events, Corona. Uh, once again, America is not the only one seeing crisis, but uh, God is shaking the world. This is the beginning of birth pain. So once again, guys, uh, river turns blood red after second largest oil spill in Arctic Circle. Russia orders state of emergency. Now, before I start, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And once again, for those of you that want to support this, channel we had the links in the description box so look at this just uh completely blood red and uh how many how many creatures died in that seat so uh we're gonna see what's going on here guys um so let's see what's happening here and all of a sudden i see vladimir putin's name in here so a russian mining company spilled twenty thousand tons of oil in arctic circle turning a river red russian president vladimir putin declared a state of emergency and in rains after official only learned about the spill two days after it happened Twenty thousand tons of diesel fuel spilled into the Abamanai River inside the Arctic Circle, forcing Vladimir Putin to order a state of emergency. The spill occurred when a fuel reserver at a power plant near the city of Novolisk collapsed on Friday. So let's see what's going on here, really quick, guys. Um. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so I might have to put this on audio. Look at that. Um, just completely turning it red. Now, you best believe that all creatures died in that river. Oh, yeah. It was a fuel tank that collapsed at a power plant on May 20th. So this happened like about two weeks ago. It could eat, it could extend to other rivers. This is a, this is not good. Absolutely not good. Wow. Um, they are talking about that this thing could extend. It could go to other rivers. Russia. What in the world you guys have done? Wow. So, um, so that's not good because now it could go to other rivers, killing more creatures. Uh, again, uh, it was something. That it it might have been an accident. Uh, it was a collapse. Uh, one of the uh, oil refinery tankers uh, that spilled oil into the river. But uh, there is no stopping it. This thing is going to other rivers, which could impact more creatures, the fish in the sea. It's just not looking good. Not looking good. So the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, just declared a state of emergency. All right. So the plant is operated by a division of Nonikel whose factory in the area had made the city one of the most heavily populated places on earth. Why did government agency only find out about this two days after the fact? Vladimir Putin asked. Are we going to learn about emergency situation from social media? So Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, he didn't get the message. He didn't know about this. Wow. Wow. 
And this how this dramatic oil spill look like from space. I know Vladimir Putin is not pleased. He's not happy. He is absolutely not happy about this. This is uh this is a footage from um uh, one of the satellite imagery. But uh oh man. It's not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Here's another footage from the satellite imagery. So so this thing could end up going to other rivers. This was taken May 31st, 2020. Right now it's the 8th. Here's another one. Which is the same thing. Uh, I don't know why they... Oh, okay, so this is June 1st, and you see how it's extending? I mean, expanding. Uh, it's it's going to other rivers. So this is not the first time rivers turn red in the Norlisk uh, region. But uh, this one was a little different, I think. This was because of, uh, I don't know, something else. It didn't have anything to do with uh, with oil. So Russia has launched a criminal probe. The company said a huge cleanup was underway, but I expect this cleanup to take long and be fast to this. And I don't want to think about all the animals that will die. And again, Vladimir Putin, for those of you that don't know him, again, he is the president of Russia, but he cares a lot about animals. He wants nations to come together and let's, you know, keep the animals alive, you know, keep, uh, you know, uh, the animals in good health, which I agree, you know, but he doesn't like this one bit. He's saying that I don't want to know uh, about the animals dying in that sea, I mean, in that river. Uh, but he's not really happy. He's like, this is uh, this is something that should have been uh, taken care of. And nobody told me after two days of this oil spill. So uh, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, is not too pleased. Um, so there is a state of emergency. A state of emergency in Russia. And once again, Vladimir Putin declares state of emergency. Of emergency and rage after official only learn about the spill days after it happened and he is not too happy at all so once again guys uh, what's going to happen next well it seems like they are trying to stop it but uh, it's the oil is going to another river and it's going to continue on but now Vladimir Putin says he got the message there's a po there's a possibility military the Russian military might come in place and try to stop this as soon as possible uh, because it could lead to uh, people getting sick now. So once again, river turns blood red due to oil spill. Vladimir Putin declares state of emergency. Pray for Russia, guys. Pray for them. Pray for the people in Russia. Uh, we don't want nobody drinking tap water and all of a sudden this thing is all mixed up. So once again, guys, pray for Russia. The Bible does speak about uh, rivers turning blood red. Um, this here was a man mistake. That's what, it, uh, again, that's what it was. It was uh, it was a collapse from one of, the, uh, one of these oil tankers. But uh, someone is, I don't know, might pay the price for this. Vladimir Putin is not too pleased with the oil company. Nobody told him nothing. And I believe, look, the president always needs to be, uh, again, the message needs to be sent to the president as soon as possible. You can't wait days. So President Vladimir Putin is not too pleased. Thank you so much for watching, guys. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number 2, 3432 U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to give your life to Jesus Christ, email me. My email is in the description box, or you can visit the website, www.grandsupremenews.net. We have tons of information, um, Bible verse, how to give your life to Christ. It's just a lot of good stuff there. Uh, also, uh, for those of you that want to support this channel, the links are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time.
Till next time later. Peace.